What's going on, everybody? Jen Mint here. Just hours ago, Sideshow debuted their Storm Premium format in all her glory. A bunch of pictures showing the base, all different angles, and we're going to take a look at them together. Now, this is probably not going to air the same day I'm recording this, maybe a day or so later. Members of the channel get early access, so consider joining if you want to support the channel. Before we jump into this, make sure you're subscribed. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're going to announce our 150k subscriber giveaway real soon. And before we jump into the pictures, I got to give a shout out to our sponsor, Street Level Hero at slhla.com. They have exclusive variant covers with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday, plus a ton of other dope merch. Use the code GEMMIN to save 10% on any item on the store anytime you shop there. They also have a sister site called ThatSpidermanBooth.com who have $30 mystery boxes where you get five comics of retail value plus one lucky box is going to contain a key issue. They have a GP or a giveaway prize that's in one box every round and they do two rounds per week. Use that same code GEMMINT, you'll save 10% as a one-time use per customer. With all that out the way, let's jump into these pictures. All right, guys, here we go. First picks. This is the photoshopped edited version where they gave Storm a background. And we've kind of seen this pose from the waist up with their teasers. First, we saw the silhouette. Then we saw the actual statue. Again, waist up. And now we're seeing the full piece. And just as I suspected, she has a floating type of pose. I love it. I think it looks great. Uh, right away, we can see she has her 90s Jim Lee inspired white costume, which makes sense. That's what all the other X-Men premium formats are looking like from this line when it comes down to Cyclops, Rogue, Gambit, all the others, Colossus. So that makes a lot of sense. A lot of people are going to scoff at the fabric cape or uh, yeah, it is a cape. Um, I think it looks fine. I think it looks great. I like the gold trim. I like the white sheen, uh, that the texture it has to the fabric there. And you're going to avoid ton, uh, tons of breakage issues like this. The costume looks spot on. Again, you have the X logos on the chest here. Portrait looks great. I'm sure we'll get some close-ups. And um, man, I, I, first impressions, I'm digging it. Let's move on to the next picture. Here's a closer look. Love the wided out eyes. It looks amazing. You're not going to have cross-eyed issues when they use the decals. Looks great. Skin tone has that nice hue, like light going to dark. It looks awesome. Her traditional lightning uh, earrings. The, the beautiful hair sculpt. It doesn't have a lot of tendrils and stuff, so that can reduce breakages as well. Although, looking at this right here, let's see that, uh, that hairline, guys. Hmm. I don't know. That hairline's pretty sharp. I don't know. It could just be that one picture. Anyway, uh, the white costume has almost a silvery look to it when you look at like the gloves and everything. So you have some you no know, line work in the costume. That looks good. Let's go ahead and look at the next picture. Here's a little shot from behind. You can see the the tendrils of hair. Looks good. I, I couldn't have asked for more. I like that kind of blue light they got shining on her. Nice uh, touch. And here's your unedited picture. So I think it looks great. I like how it has the wind effect, that whoosh effect. It almost looks like it's kicking up rocks too. Let's get a closer look at that, guys. What's going on here? Yeah, so some wind and some rockiness. I'm glad they didn't copy XM Studios where they did that tornado. But I like how this incorporates her power, but it's not that she's in a tornado. It's got the ground swooping up around her. Looks good. It looks like they have blue highlights on the leg to kind of bounce off of the light that that wind is supposed to be casting. So that looks good. She's completely outstretched, which makes her pretty tall too. We'll see that once we get to the, uh, the last picture here. But wow, I mean, that's it. I mean, what more could you have asked for from the Storm piece? I mean, it's dynamic yet somber. It's a museum pose at the same time. So I think, uh, you know, her flying and floating in the air, showcasing her power, the wind coming up, showcasing her power, the eyes look good. Man, the cape, you can pose it as you'd like. Let's take a look here. The muscle detail is crazy. Got a little bit of, you know, kind of a heel action here. Yeah. I think they did Storm Justice, man. The anatomy looks great. I saw uh, this was um, posted just two hours ago. The time I'm recording this, I might not release it till Thursday because I got the new Comic Book Day video. But uh, it says it's a premium format, $600. So right around what you would expect for a premium format. Again, I think they have... Is that a different color at the top of the cape? It looks like it starts off with like a, a bluish color that goes into white. If that's the case, that's going to look really, really good. 
I hope that's just not a lighting trick and that's actually how that cape is produced. A good shot here at the bottom of the base. Let's take a look at that, guys. So yeah, you can see the the light, um, the paint on on her boot is blue, kind of just showing the reflection reflection of light from that whoosh. Very cool. Now, let's see what else we got for pictures. Close up shot of the portrait. Let's zoom in here. Looks awesome. Love the eyes. You got that red lipstick, traditional storm look. Hair looks great. The hairline, I don't like that big 90 degree angle, to be honest. But um, I think that's just a little bit of a nitpick there. Kind of reminds me of the Nova uh, exclusive from Silver uh, Surfer statue. I do like how her cape is fabric, but it's not a traditional cape either. You have this big whoosh. I mean, it's very hard to pull off with sculpted capes. Uh, XM gave you two of them with theirs. And, and that's the thing about this piece. This piece is going to fly off the shelves because XM had that quarter scale storm. It was the only one forever with a low edition size. It crept up to well over $2,500 in the aftermarket. Now you got this piece for 600 bucks. It does the job. I think it accomplishes everything it needed to. Uh, I didn't notice an exclusive. There might not be one, or maybe they just haven't shown it yet. 23 inches tall. So I can see why people are getting upset with Hulk versus Hulkbuster being that's 19.5 inches tall. Storm standing 23 inches tall. Now keep in mind, she looks to be about what? Four inches off the ground floating. So that's a, that's a pretty big. She would be about 19 inches tall herself. We have the Sideshow Apple for scale. And uh, I'm really happy with how this storm came out and there we have it let me know what you think about the storm premium format in the comments down below is it enough to dethrone the xm studios grail or is it basically just a way for collectors to get a quarter scale aurora monroe in their collections without breaking the bank as always i appreciate you guys watching but don't go anywhere check out my statue unboxing and reviews in the playlist to the right and stay minty fresh peace